Okay, welcome to the videos for how to make a lasagna. So first of all, you need to get a tin, one of these sizes, because the lasagna sheets fit inside these perfectly. Okay. The first thing we're going to be doing is making a meat sauce. This is basically the basis of a spaghetti bolognese sauce. So this is how you can make a spaghetti bolognese at home. Or if you made a big spaghetti bolognese, you could kind of adapt it and turn it into a lasagna for another meal. First thing we need to do is chop up a whole onion. Don't forget we've got the root, we always need to leave that bit on. And we've got the top bit which we're going to be taking off to start with. Remember, don't go too close to the edge, we need to come in a little bit from there. Then we're going to cut that in half using the bridge method so that your fingers are out of the way of the knife. We're then going to peel that onion, take off a couple of layers, and we're then going to dice it. So we're going to get it into really small sections. Keep cleaning as you go so get all your onion peel into the bin whilst you're cleaning. So you don't want to make too much of a mess in your area. It's much easier to work in a clean station. So peel both parts of the onion. We're now going to cut those lines like we do when we're dicing it. And don't forget, we're going into the middle section. So each cut should go to the same point. Okay. So remember, only going three quarters of the way down as well. Move your hands as you cut the onion. Always going into that same point in that middle. Then we're going to dice it. So you turn it around and slice it the other way just so you've got some nice small sections. Again, only go down about three quarters of the way down. If you go any further, you've got a high chance of slipping. So I'll show you once more with this half. So going down, cutting into that middle point all the time. Moving your fingers round so your fingers don't slip. And you can see it's held together really well because I haven't cut too far down. I'm going to cross the other way. It's a really nice diced part of the onion. Now we're going to also chop a mushroom. Move your onion to the side of the board. With the mushroom we're going to leave the stalk on, cut it in half and then slice it up. So cut again, make sure your fingers are out of the way, hold it together and then just slice it into little pieces. Okay. You're going to do two mushrooms, I've already got one of mine in the pan. Okay, so that's your vegetables prep. We're now going to get this into the saucepan with your meat and we're going to start browning that off. Okay. So we're going to get our onion and mushrooms into there. Oh, careful not to flip them out. We don't need to add any oil. If you're using corn, you do need to use a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick. But the beef mince has got lots, it's not got lots of fat, but it has got a little bit of fat in it already. So you don't need to add any extra oil because you're going to make it too oily and not as healthy. But like I said, corn will stick, so you need to add a little bit of oil if you're using corn. So we're going to keep stirring this until it goes nice and brown. Whilst you're waiting for that to kind of start cooking, you can prepare your other ingredients. So we're going to be doing a white sauce, so you can weigh out 15 grams of butter, one tablespoon of flour and 175 mils of milk and put that into a saucepan ready whilst you're waiting for this to cook. So like I said, we're going to keep stirring this, keep waiting until it goes brown. Make sure you've got it on a 4 or 5 heat. It's starting to cook now. So lasagna is obviously a dish from Italy. You can buy dried or fresh lasagna sheets. We're working with dried lasagna sheets today. You can also do vegetarian alternatives such as spinach and ricotta. So we want all of that mince to brown off before we start the next step, which is to add in our tinned tomatoes. As you hear it sizzling, keep stirring it because you want all of that mince to be cooked. You could add other vegetables into this, you could add pepper, you could grate in a carrot, a celery, courgette to make it even healthier. And if you want it to be super healthy, you can make it vegetarian and just use vegetables. You could layer aubergines and courgettes and peppers. There we go. So you can see it's starting to turn brown now. We're going to wait for that to all be brown. And those onions are going to be cooking at the same time. And you get the mushrooms in as well because they'll be starting to absorb the flavour from the onions and the meat. So keep stirring it. Now it's nearly ready. The next stage is we're going to add a pinch of 
basil. So just pour a little bit of basil into your hand and add that in. Give that a good stir. So you should be able to smell it once you've added that in. That mince is nearly all brown now, so we're going to add in the tomato puree. You need one dessert spoon, so that's not the big, big tablespoon. One dessert spoon, okay, tomato puree in there. That's going to help thicken our sauce. So mix that all in with your meat. And then lastly, we're then going to add in our tinned tomatoes. You can see now all of that beef has been cooked. It's all gone brown. The tomato puree is spread out evenly. And now we're going to add in half a tin of tomatoes as well. Okay. Now you're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. So simmer is where it's not bubbling frantically like a volcano. It's just got gentle little bubbles going on it. We want that sauce to thicken before we put it into our lasagna. Okay, so we're going to cook that, like I said, 10 minutes. Use the timer. And once that's cooked for 10 minutes, we're then going to prepare our white sauce to go on top. So, in a saucepan, you need the flour and the butter, and then we're going to add our milk into there as well. And this is going to make our sauce to go on top. So we're going to keep whisking this because this will cook super, super quick. The butter will melt and the flour is going to, it's got something called starch in it and that's going to start absorbing some of the liquid. Now we want to bring it up to boiling but we want to make sure there's no lumps in there so we're going to keep whisking it and it will go really thick quite quickly so we need to not walk away from this, we need to keep stirring it the whole time. And what's happening is there's a bit of food science going on. The starch is starting to swell up and is going to be absorbing that liquid. Okay. So this is the white sauce that we're going to be putting on top. This is a similar sauce to what you would do if you were doing a macaroni cheese, but you would put cheese inside the sauce as well. We're just going to sprinkle our cheese on top. Okay. So you can see the butter's nearly all melting. It's nearly getting up to boiling point, which means it must nearly be ready. So keep stirring it because it will suddenly go thick. There is a pinch of mustard going to go into there as well. So mustard powder is going to add a little bit of flavour into there. So you just have a little tiny pinch that's going to go into there as well. That's going to add a bit of flavour to your sauce. You can see now it's really starting to thicken. But we're going to keep going until it's boiling. We need it to boil just for a minute or two to make sure that starch is fully kind of cooked. Otherwise your sauce can taste a bit floury. So we're going to keep mixing it. You can see now it's really gone a lot thicker. You can see the bubbles are starting now. That means it's boiling. So that's the temperature we need to get it to, but we need to cook it for just one more minute once it's got to that stage to really make sure the sauce is nice and thick. It's really important you keep whisking it at this point. This is a stage where it could go lumpy if you don't do it properly. Okay. So that is now ready, so take that off the heat. And now we're gonna layer up our lasagna. So we have our meat sauce and our cheese sauce. We're going to put one third of the sauce into the bottom. Make sure you don't do too much on this first layer, otherwise you won't have enough for your other layers. So a third of the meat, just so it covers that bottom nicely. And we're gonna put in one lasagna sheet. Then we're gonna put in another third of that meat sauce. Okay, another lasagna sheet, push it down. The rest of that meat is going to go on top then. Spread that all out nicely. And then we're going to put our final sheet on top. Then we're going to pour our white sauce all over that top layer. Spread it out. Make sure it coats all of the edges. Then we're going to sprinkle it with some grated cheese. Which is going to add a lovely flavour and a bit of texture, crunchy texture on top. Make sure we spread it all the way 
out. And then we're going to put this on a baking tray. We're going to cook that in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. You need to check the lasagna sheets are cooked. At the moment they're dry, they'll just break and they're not cooked. So we're going to put that on the baking tray, team up two people onto one, make sure you've put your name in a permanent marker, marker along the side of your tray so you know whose lasagna is whose. And when it's done, it's going to come out of the oven, it's going to be really golden on top, that cheese will have started to cook, and you need to check with a knife that your lasagna sheet's cooked, so you push your knife all the way down, and it should be really smooth. You'll know if it's not cooked because you can't get through that pasta. 